Um, people here are much more patient. Huh? You know, I think people in America especially have this idea of hot-blooded Latinos, you know. But actually, the people here are more patient, more tolerant of, peop of different people who are different from themselves than anywhere in America that I've seen. I really like it here. It's much more civilized, uh, to my way of thinking, than America or Europe. I mean, even Europe I prefer over America. <laughs> At least there's different kinds of people and they all have to get along somehow. Um, but here, you come here, I mean, the whole time I was in Mexico City, it's like nothing bad ever happened. <laughs> so I really enjoy it here. I love it here. And you're not going to get me out of here without a fight. <laughs> The last question. Yeah. Keep, uh, keeps insistently asking, are you close to any ruins or made to settle? Well, there's ruins all over the place here. What you know? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> why? Why do you want to go see some old ruins? Huh? I, what's the interest in it? I don't. I mean, yeah, there's ruins everywhere. I mean, there's Olmec, Tolmec, Aztec. Uzbek? No, it's, it's somewhere else. He wants to find the secret. He wants to find the secret. Ah, the secret is Hare Krishna. Oh, remnants of Vedic civilization, and he wants to find Bigfoot. Oh. Bigfoot? Uh -huh. Oh, you got to go north for that. This is. No, you won't find Bigfoot down here. What you find here is a very sweet place where you can chant Hare Krishna, and. Nobody's going to bug you. Nobody's going to hassle you. And we have really good prasadam. Mm -hmm. And our the mood is very informal. It's not we don't do a lot of big ceremonies or anything like that. Or well, we probably will once once we have a lot of devotees here in August. We'll start doing artis and deity worship and stuff like that to engage everyone. But basically, every everybody here. Um, has something they're interested in already and they're doing that as devotional service. You know, so my focus is on keeping the mood very nice. And I guess if you really want to see the ruins, we could stop by on the way back from the store <laughs> and check out the ruins, you know. In uh, what's that place? Uh it's where the water that big waterfall is. You mean by uh, San Andres Tuxtla? Yeah, by Tuxtla's. Um, oh, I can't remember the name of it offhand. This is really not important to me. <laughs> it's like ruins, schmuins, you know. <laughs> Who needs them, right? We have the living devotional culture of Lord Chaitanya today, you know, and we're responsible for passing this on to the future. Nobody else is doing it. They're all just making their little churchy things and collecting money. Huh? It's a business. So we're actually performing devotional service. We're not doing a business. We're not trying to make a profit. We're not interested in that. We're interested in pleasing our spiritual master and passing on this lineage to people in, a, in an unbroken form with the full content, the complete knowledge. You can't get that anywhere else because nobody is studying it. Huh? My godbrother who translated Vedanta Sutra, he left his body like a year and a half ago. I don't know of anybody else who's working on it. So we're the only branch of the uh, Krishna consciousness movement who is actually trying to follow Srila Prabhupada's original instruction. And so far Krishna is making the arrangement that we can actually do it. So we're very happy. And we hope you join us. And, uh, you know, come on down, get a tan, <laughs> and chant. <laughs> so. Namaste, not a sing. 
Go, Premanandi, Adibo, Adibo. 